Villains rarely stay dead on soaps. Somehow these devious characters creep up time and again spicing up the storyline. That's what happened recently on The Bold and the Beautiful with the return of supervillain Sheila Carter. It wouldn't be so surprising if its sister soap The Young and the Restless followed suit by bringing back one of its own supervillains and we're thinking of secretary turned murderer David Kimball played by soap veteran Michael Corbett. In this video, we're taking a trip down memory lane to reminisce about David Kimball's time on The Young and the Restless. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. Older Weiner fans will remember how David Kimball wreaked havoc on the show in the late 80s. Michael Corbett joined the soap in 1986 as an assistant to Jill Abbott. A con artist, David seduced Jill hoping to get his hands on the Chancellor fortune. But once he realized that Jill's daughter-in-law Nina Webster had inherited a fortune, he quickly diverted his attention towards her. They eventually get married, but things take a dark turn when it is revealed that David is a killer. After faking his death and a botched plastic surgery, David returns to Genoa City as Jim Adams, and this time targets Nina's mother. David meets his end while attending a masquerade ball when he is cornered by Detective Paul Williams and fatally mutilated by a trash compactor. Yes, David Kimball is dead, or presumed dead at least. But without a body, there is a possibility of return. Even the actor who played David thinks so. Talking of a potential comeback, Michael Corbett told Soaps.com, They never found the body. They never identified it so we don't know for sure that it was him. David has faked his death once and he could have done it twice. There was always a question of whether it was David whose hand was sticking out of the trash compactor. There could have been a vagrant or someone that, you know, David being David, he might have thrown in there at the last second so that he could sneak out the back, said the actor himself. Talking to Soaps.com, Michael revealed that he is totally open to bringing back his psychopath alter ego to the screen. So what do you think? Let us know in the comments if you would love a new villain in Genoa City. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.